Good morning, friends of the internet. We are back again in the world of Tanks Garage. Today we're going to be playing our hammer. Uh, I had a platoon mate with me earlier, but he plays a little earlier in the morning with me, and I spend a lot of time just kind of recapturing gameplay. Uh, and then I come back and record um, the intro. That way he can we can kind of focus on playing, and he doesn't have to set through every intro of every game. So um, we're going to be taking this bad boy out. We're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into. I spent a lot of time grinding out this weekend, trying to get a little bit of silver, and I figured I'd continue on this morning. As you can see, by doing so, we grabbed a little stripe on our barrel, so we got our first marks of excellence on this bad boy. I don't play it that much, but I do have 170,000 experience, so I do play it a little bit just to earn some silver, and uh, as you can tell by my centennial down there in the bottom left, I don't really play it that much. Not a big fan of that tank. Uh, I like this tank because it puts me at tier 7 instead of my motherland that puts me at tier 8. The Craft Panther and the Centennial are more just accomplishments for me to actually be able to have them in my garage to say that I achieved the goals of earning them. Uh, but they're not tanks I really use to grind. I, I like the hammer a lot. Uh, you know, great gun, decent armor. Uh, you can get ammo racked fairly easy, get your engine taken out. But if you know how to play this tank, you can have a pretty decent game in it. Um, you know, and earn quite a bit of silver. So, you know, you sit back, play a few hours, and earn a million silver. Uh, I think by this point this morning, I only have 361,000 left, but I think I've spent almost 700,000 uh, trying to get back some of the equipment and stuff that I had to uh, liquidate so that I could purchase a few things. Uh, so, with that being said, hopefully, me and my platoon mate can get into a nice little match today. Hopefully, it's something good. And so, with that being said, let's go out and see if we can find ourselves a match, shall we? All right, guys, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, we are top tier, and there's a bunch of tier fives. Oh, time to feed the hammer. Look at that. Some nice, juicy targets for us. So hopefully, hopefully this is a good game. So let me explain something about tier seven. Tier seven is kind of this weird, I don't know, this kind of this weird little situation you fall into as a tier seven a tier seven can go two ways tier seven can be a game like this where you're top tier and you got all these nice meaty juicy targets but you also have very inexperienced players because a lot of the people that are tier five are doing probably the tank line for the first time so they're not the most competent players nor do they have a tank that they can be very competent with. And some of the players that aren't the top of the line, the top of the food chain of players, if they're starting a new line, they struggle. Say, say they already got a tier 10 or tier 9. They're used to being able to play that tank and know that it has some armor and it has some resilience. But in the, you put them in a tier 5, they don't know what to do. It, it, it's like a completely different environment. They find themselves getting shot easier where something like their tier 7 wouldn't be. So it's either that side of the coin or the other side where you're battling <laughs> tier nines and it's a struggle to pin anything and you're kind of the lower bottom tier. But anything that, even though you're a competent player, if anything hits you, it could shred you. So um, we'll see how this pans out. I I'm kind of excited for this game, uh, being tier five with all these juicy targets. So we swing up here and bam, we see all sorts of, like look at these targets already. Tier five, watch this, meaty target, goodbye. T67, oh, please show yourself. Nope, he's not there. This guy kind of backed into me, and I was like, hey, here, pal. Let me just move out of your way. I see this 20, so I'm going to push up on him. Oh, come on. Give me a shot. Oh, I saw a little. And look at that. Another meaty target. And look at this guy. He stops and parks sideways. What is he doing? All right, 257 damage. I'll take it. Put it up in the wind column, boy. So, yeah. So, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, no way in hell would I be in a Type 20 or T20 and be putting my tank to the side of the other tanks like that. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to take the damage. But then all of a sudden I see this guy down below getting pushed by two snake bites. Now, these are two tanks that could cause him a lot of trouble. They can cause us trouble because they can see us. And they can come after us and cause us problems too. So I'm going to focus fire down here. I'm telling my platoon mate, hey, man, we got to deal with these guys. So I don't want to be up on this ridge really. Um, this guy's just getting chewed up, so I'm going to dump down here after I get another shot into this other guy because I don't have shots on the next guy. I get him taken care of, and listen to the snake bite. He's just going to town on this poor guy. So I'm going to run down here and see if I can help him out a little bit, and my platoon mate's following. So the snake bite, I get a shot into him. I try to block the round so he'll focus fire on me a little bit, and then 
I'm chasing this and I don't quite understand at this particular point what I just saw. So I'm shooting at this and I thought, wait, what just hit me? What is this guy doing? This tells you the mentality of a tier five artillery. Check this out. Like I was bewildered that this guy shot at me, not only once, but twice. What are you doing, kid? So at this time, I told my platoon mate, we gotta get back up the hill to the flag. What he heard was, go to their flag up on the hill. So he took off. Well, I didn't understand that. What I thought he was doing was going around to circle this tank that was coming up the hill. But I had saw this tier six, uh, M or this medium, or this this uh, heavy M6 flanking around the other side. So I was going to cut him off. And I thought he was going around to the front side of our flag to defend it. And I didn't understand that he, we had a miscommunication there and what we was doing. So I wasn't worried. I was on a mission. I knew that this guy was creeping over here. I didn't worry about the tanks that was coming up the hill because I knew they were being flanked and nobody was paying attention. So over here, I know I'm gonna run into an M6. I know it for sure. Then out of the blue, we have a hero in our small little Chaffee. And I'm thinking to myself, don't go out there, Chaffee. Don't go out there, Chaffee. Oops. So I see the OI. So I put a shot into him. That slows him down. Now he thinks, oh man, somebody knows where to shoot me. So I'm gonna try to take advantage of him and get him off the board quickly. So now I gotta help of another medium tank. Now the situation is here. We got the M6 pinched way back there. But the poor Sherman is pinched between me and the M6. So I need to focus fire on the M6 first. Take him off the board. Now the Sherman had no place to go. So now we've got him cornered. So now I can start working on him once I get him reloaded. So I go ahead and I roll forward and really put a nice meaty shot into him. So just try to go to the turret. That, that guy finishes him off. Excuse me. <clears throat> That's in my throat there for a second. So I give him another shot just to say, get out of here. You're trying to take me on? No way. So I turn back around thinking, okay, I'm probably not going to get much more damage on the board because everything's over there. And I see my platoon mates in trouble. So I'm like telling them, just stay alive, stay alive. Because I didn't understand still at this point that he thought I said go to the flag, their flag. So we had some miscommunication. So now he's in a pinch because he's got a Hellcat and a 29 pushing down on him. Now this whole time I'm telling him, stay alive, stay alive. I'm looking at the map. He goes, I'm good, I'm good. I said, I'm coming as fast as I can. I'm, I'm just almost up to the flag. And he's going, no, no, I'm good. And I see the, the AT-7 is at the back of the spawn. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe he is good. Ooh, he just took a big shot there. So I tried to get that and I rushed that shot, which was a massive mistake. I was in such a hurry to try to get a shot into him that I missed the shot. So I put a nice, I made sure I hit this shot. And he said, okay, that'll help. But then the 29 knows that he's in trouble. So he's gonna run. So at this point I'm thinking, okay, I should be able to just kind of force my way right through here maybe. So I go up here and oh my God, I can't get through here. And that guy tried to push me. So now I'm like telling my platoon mate, now I'm really panicking. I'm like, oh dude, just stay alive. And he goes, oh, I'm trying, man. He says, I don't know. I'm good, I'm good. And then about right here, he says, oh shit, he's gonna kill me. I said, no, no, just stay alive, just stay alive. I'm coming as fast as I can. Me and the toaster, we're, we're hot on it. And he's going, nope, I'm not gonna make it. I'm like, no, no, stay alive, stay alive. Me and the toaster's almost there. I get there, he bounces around, it appears, and then he died. Oh no, what a heartbreak. Because then I come around the corner and what do I see? The side of his turret. And I killed him. So then the Hellcat decided to get cheeky with me and knock on my track. And I was like, you little dirty turd. So I'm like, come on, you're gonna peek it? Peek it, do it. Bad mistake. So all these tier fives, this is, at what happens at tier five and tier six. You get these kind of players. These kind of players that don't really know how to, to protect their tank and not to pick a fight with a tier seven like a tiger that has a rate of fire that it does. So if I could say anything about playing a tier five is just be very cautious, slow play it. It's not like a seven, eight, nine and 10 tank that can take some shots. Those lower tier tanks cannot take damage. So as I'm rolling up here, I'm thinking, okay, I'm about three quarters health. We got an AT-7 full health. We got our work cut out for us. He's got a pretty large health pool for me to have to chip away at. And if he starts running at me with a cannon that can do some pretty decent damage and shred my engine or my ammo rack or take out a driver, um, it's gonna be a problem. So I need to play this very cautiously to finish this off. Cause right now I feel like I'm on 
on track for a fairly decent game. I had a game earlier in the day that was outstanding and I wasn't recording. I did capture the footage, the, the, the actual scoreboard, and I'd like to show it to you guys at the end of this one because at the end of this one, we're going to find out what kind of damage we did there and we're going to compare the two. So I'm just going to peek the ridge here so I can see his little, his little R2-D2 hatch and he puts it in the dirt. Mistake. And he's going to continue to push me, so I'm just going to just keep playing his hatch. I'm going to keep the ridge between me and him. He doesn't have no gun depression. He's still pushing. So at this point, he's turning, trying to get behind the rock. I leave the shot. I put another one into his hatch. The toaster helps me out to take a little chip away of damage from him. I go ahead and I try to get another shot into the side of him and track him. He's panicking right now. He flings around over. I'm trying to get one more shot. Please load. No. And I'm like, oh, there he is. No. Pull back out. Yes. No, that's not going to hit. No, give me your ass. Please, please, please. See ya. So let's take a look at these stats here really quick at this game, and we'll explain what ended up happening here. So what we ended up doing was eight kills and 4,300 in damage. We got a Radley Walters metal. Now, and a high caliber, mastery badge the whole nine yards. So I was really excited about the game that I had earlier in the day, which was like nine kills in like 4,700. So I'm going to post that at the end of this to show you the two of them. I got two Radley Walter medals in the same day in the same tank with over 4,300 damage in both days. And look at my team. Not one person scored over 1,000 damage. My backpack was full. And I carried that team to victory. So that just shows you how deadly a hammer can be in a tier 7 match when he's top tier. But it's the complete opposite on a low tier game or on a high tier game where you're low tier. But we did damage to everybody. The Sherman, we did 261. The M6, I think we hit twice. We ended up killing him. The Stug, we hit for quite a bit too. Um, yeah, we hit uh, this guy for 357. We hit the Stug for like 130. We hit the T20, I think, twice for 464. The one snake bite here. Uh, we hit him for, I think, two shots at, yeah, 381, uh, 358 for the OI. Uh, the Bishop, 201, I don't know what he was doing. The Hellcat, or the Hellcat was 201. I forgot, I didn't see what the Bishop was. But we we just destroyed everything, everything. We backpacked our team. I was really happy about this. I was happy that I was able to get this gameplay because, like I said, early in the morning, I was just grinding out some silver, and then all of a sudden, bam, I had like 4,709 kills. But damn, I didn't record that. But this one, we fired 27 rounds. We hit 22. We pinned 22. Um, great game. Absolutely great game for us. Um, our platoon mate, he still did 971. I mean, he was, what, second in damage on the team. Um, if we wouldn't have had that miscommunication, probably he would have had a little bit more damage and I might have had a little less. Uh, but that's okay. I'll take it. I'll take the win. He was happy to see it. He he was enjoying watching the, the last couple of plays of me chewing up the AT7. So, uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you dug this video. Uh, I enjoyed playing it today. I was really excited to get two Radley Walter medals in the same morning uh, with the same tank. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow us on Twitter. That way you know when we're posting new YouTube content. And when we're live streaming, you can check us out on Twitch or YouTube Gaming. Come hang out. Be part of the audience. If you're new to the channel, smash those follow buttons. And until next time, guys. Hang around for after this. I'm going to flash up the other screen and let you see what I did for damage. But until next time, guys, thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll see all your faces on the battlefield. Thanks so much, guys, for checking out my video. If you enjoyed that video, hit that thumbs up button, and be sure to subscribe for future videos.